Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com and Revolution Forum. One of the people on the uh, my YouTube channel posted a comment and said, "How do we get stubble? How do we get uh, facial stubble in our in our characters?" There's already a bit of facial stubble, you notice, in the default uh, CC3 character. I think he was looking for something more than this. What I was suggesting was that um, in the in the maps itself, you can you can generate uh, this kind of look by altering the maps and uh, you know you could go in and draw on the maps you can see there's a lot there's quite a lot of stubble in the default character here but if you want more uh, then you're going to need to you know get it from someplace else and this is uh, there's a package here buzz cut stubble if you look here and so this is a daz package you could use this is something else that you could get it has scars as well but it has it has this uh, this stubble that that works pretty good, uh, and you can see here's the the actual maps for it. So uh, basically, I went into Daz, applied it to this character, and then we'll go in here. We'll uh, go to Transformer and we'll bring in the stubble. Um, there is going to be a stubble at the at the end of this year. We've already it's in the roadmap. It's been announced. Um, and, and I think that will be better for a number of reasons. The main reason it will be better is that their particular stubble will follow the lips as the lips form by seams. Um, this, this stubble will, will not. Um, so it'll follow the, the chin portion as a beard. Uh, when we change it to hair, I always want to change it to hair. You might say, what if I have hair on the top of the head? That's okay. I've shown you how we can merge that and change them both to accessories and merge them and then reweight them back as hair. So, uh, but you do want to have any beard as a hair because it will then follow the chin a lot better. So, um, so anyway, but but so at the end of the year we're going to have better stubble. But in the meantime, you know this isn't bad. So there's your stubble, and uh, what you can do on this is the opacity comes in this way. You can actually adjust this opacity. So if you if you lower the brightness down, you can kind of you know lower the lower the stubble and you can get more stubble like that. Or you can look they have maps, so uh, you know the maps for the stubble come in, and you can apply uh, a different map and get a different length. So there's a there's a different length stubble there. And again, you can play with the brightness and you know he can he can grow his hair out or he can just not shave it. So anyway, that's that's basically what you could do now. For stubble, and when you when you do this, the uh, the character itself will uh, uh, the mouth will open when it opens the the beard will conform, okay, but not not the upper lips. I don't know if you can actually tell that here or not, but the this upper lip portion will not move if if the lips move in a, when they're smiling or yelling or whatever. So that's going to be corrected again in uh, by the end of the year. But in the meantime, in the meantime. I would suggest that this stubble, uh, and this stubble can be applied to anybody. You know, once you once you save this stubble out as hair, you can go ahead and you know save it as content. Go here and save it as hair. And like I say again, I recommend that you that you save it and, and weight it as hair, even when you want to put other hair on, so that you can um, that way. Um, have it correctly conform when the mouth opens and closes. So, so there's that. So if we bring this and we go here and we apply this stubble. So this this guy has a stubble map, and now he has that stubble on him as well. So that's an even more realistic uh, stubble as it's growing. So hopefully, hopefully this helps the guy that wanted more stubble. Now you got more stubble. You got uh, plenty of stubble. You might have you might have uh, noticed that when I opened the head, opened the, the head, opened the mouth that uh, sometimes the stubble like uh, like appears on this lip here and i've already shown you in other videos how you can hide that you can go in and, and edit the stubble mesh and just hide that little portion of that so that would be uh, what you might want to do to make it look perfect but other than that that's what we have right for now so take care and we will see you on the forums